Hey, Steven Ostrowski with Trimble and the Building Point team is going to talk to you today about how to export scan data um, from FieldLink and your T100 tablet to um, a desktop application, either FieldLink Office or RealWorks or the CAD BIM application um, from Autodesk, uh, AutoCAD, Atmosworks, Revit, etc. Or really any other um, software that will bring in scan data. Um, so usually what I do is I'll have uh, the USB-C and or a USB stick. If I have a USB-C, I can plug directly into the bottom of the T100. Um, but in this case, I just have a USB uh, on my keys that I keep at all time. Um, the next thing I will do is actually share my screen. Hide this very quickly. So obviously what I usually want to do is um, make sure I've already checked my scan data, uh, meaning I've collected everything I needed to. Um, this is this scan data has already been georeferenced out in the field uh, to a model with a resection uh, very accurately. I can also manually pull it very quickly. Um, if I'm using a Trimble product, I can essentially change this later or back in the office if I need to um, to align it. I won't be able to do a resection then, but I can definitely do a traditional georeference. Uh, this has already been done. Um, one thing I do like to do before I leave the site is uh, kind of two things actually. One is to check uh, my uh, refinement report, make sure everything looks good. Um, if I open that up, you can see here, we've got about 18 stations with uh, an error less than five mils, overlap around 50% in confidence, above 90. Um, the reason why I want to do that before I leave is A, if I need to I can collect more scans, um, where, where I actually do need a bit of overlap, and I can generally tell about going through and seeing um, the registration summary uh, for each group just to make sure that everything looks good um, there as well. Uh, next thing I usually like to check out too is just one image. I will colorize. Um, I will generally save the colorization for a desktop computer to do later because it's a little bit faster. Um, here we're going to open up uh, one screen as well too just to show you what the pictures look like. Um, from the X7 for this particular project. Again, the white balance is usually always good to be set at automatic. You don't usually need to change that. Um, but I can always check. Uh, usually I'll do this after the first scan as well. So, and as I click through here, another thing to note, this is what we uh, will typically call the station view. So here I can see the image. I can see where I might have uh, missed some points. If I need to, I can look in here to see anything in red is unmeasured and we'll need um, some more scanning. But as you can see with the X7, um, we do a great job actually covering just about everything we need. Um, so this is the station view. Um, one thing to note with this is this is kind of what you get from a gridded. So when I go to the export screen here, if I export a TDX or um, do a more jobs to manage save as, that's gonna go into FieldNick Office or, or RealWorks. Um, if I'm going to export an RCP or a recap file to Autodesk Recap, or I can bring a recap file into um, AutoCAD, Revit, Navisworks, um, I, uh, if I keep the section box turned on, it'll be essentially uh, a non-gridded or a no station view data set. It'll, it'll process generally twice as quick um, if it's the full scan project, like here you can see this is a section box turned on for everything. If I do a small uh, section, obviously it'll be a lot faster even then. Even then. Um, but showing all the scan data um, a, a non grid will be about twice as fast and generally about half the size. Um, so I can turn a uh, section box on and off uh, here. So this would be a gridded E57 where I can get the station views. Um, a gridded RCP and it will be a little bit larger and a little bit longer to, to export but I can do that here by turning that on and off. Um, for E57s you can actually just click on, if you have a section box turned on, um, click on the non-gridded or gridded options as well too. So I'm going to keep that turned on um, and then I'm going to go through some of these other sections to explain uh, how to go through that. So for a TDX it's send everything. Um, same with the TZF. TDX is going to be uh, essentially the, T the original TZF scans with registration information and in the correct location. A TZF scan or TZS, a TZF export would just be the station in the right position without registration. So I generally, if I'm going to RealWorks or FieldLink Office, I'll do a TDX. Um, and I can write that directly to um, a thumb drive. 
right? Um, it's a faster export, but if I'm doing anything else, if I'm creating something in E57 LAS, POD, or, e, or RCP, I want to write it locally before um, I actually tell it to transfer over. So I'm going to write it locally and then in the file explorer, actually, um, copy it over. So um, that's where I can change the ro location of where I'm writing it. If I click here and then hit the uh, USB, it will actually send it there as well, too. Um, I will generally not colorize locally on the machine. I'll bring it back to a desktop computer and colorize there because it will use the resources of the desktop computer to be faster, um, just to speed it up. But if I'm going to create an RCP and I want color, I actually need to colorize it on the, the tablet or on the uh, uh, on the machine I'm using before I, I create that RCP. So. Um, if I write an RCP, I'm going to keep that local. I'm probably going to name it, and then I'm going to hit export. If I'm doing a large project, uh, depending on scan type, 20 to 50 scans, I'm probably going to create that RCP um, either with the tablet plugged in or on a desktop machine because it'll just run a lot faster. Um, and we'll, we'll complete with the memory size needed. Um, if I'm doing something less than that, I can certainly uh, allow the, the tablet to chug through and, and complete it. I just want to make sure it doesn't turn off um, while, while that's being completed because it is a fairly uh, computational intense process. So um, just a couple tips and tricks to get data off the tablet here and either onto a thumb drive and back to your desktop computer or directly into um, your CAD or BIM program. Again, once you have it off there, you want to make sure if you load it up to the server to store it, you want to always make sure you download it locally um, generally to work on it because this data is very uh, precise and accurate and there's a ton with it. Um, generally, most applications will work with it locally. So, thanks a lot and our next video will show you how to bring scan data, actually not from a mechanical room or something like that, but actually my, my house here, um, into a CAD program so that we can create a model and then um, renovate my house and then display it on our AR or MR applications. Um, the hole in behind me or your phone to overlay those plans in the future. Thanks a lot.